Hey guys, this is Luke from the Ski Monster, and today I'm coming at you with a video on how to adjust your ATK C Raider bindings. First and foremost, I always want to say, get your gear adjusted by a certified shop technician. Sometimes you find yourself in a pinch on the mountain. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust these bindings. Alright guys, let's get going on adjusting these bindings. So what you're going to need are two tools, a small Phillips head screwdriver and the 4mm spacer that comes in the box of these bindings. Alright, so let's get going. Let's get the boot into the toe piece of that binding. So that's all that you're going to do for the toe piece. The rest of the adjustments in this binding are going to come in the heel piece. First things first, let's get that boot into the binding. Give it a good press down so those heel hooking pins pop into the insert slots in the boot. All right, guys, let's start with that four millimeter spacer. We're going to want to place it in between the heel hooking pins and in between the binding and the boot. So as you can see right now, there's a little bit too much of a gap. This four mil spacer can move a little too much. So what you're going to want to do is take your Phillips head screwdriver and come down to this bottom screw on this binding. It's a little bit counterintuitive, a little bit opposite from most bindings where if you turn it clockwise, it actually moves this laterally backwards. If you turn counterclockwise, it moves the binding forwards. So since there's a little bit too much room, let's give it a couple counterclockwise twists. So to get that perfect adjustment, you want that four millimeter spacer to be in contact with both the boot and the binding. So you want there to be a little bit of friction, but not so much that it's holding the spacer firmly in between. Once you've got that perfect gap, your lateral adjustment is complete. All right, so now that we've got that four millimeter gap spaced out perfectly, let's move on to the DIN settings. So to get to those, we're gonna need to remove the boot from the binding. To get to your two DIN setting screws, you're gonna wanna flip those risers over. This top screw right here is for your vertical release. This one right here is for your lateral release. All right, let's start with that vertical release setting. So the DIN window for that vertical release is going to be just below the screw right here. Let's take your Phillips head screwdriver, insert it into that screw, and give it a couple twists. Clockwise raises the DIN, counterclockwise lowers it. And now for the lateral release adjustment. Take your screwdriver, insert it into the back screw. Before you rotate, take a look at this little window. There are little numbers in there. That's what's going to indicate the value of your DIN setting. What you're going to want to do is match it up the DIN setting that you put it in the vertical release system. Now that we've got your four mil spacer adjusted and your DIN settings properly adjusted to you, let's do a final check of that binding. So let's pop that boot back into the toe piece. And before we click it back into the heel, let's give it a rotation so we can check how those risers are doing. Hit the top riser, set. Hit the bottom riser, set. And you're perfectly clearing down to that base plate. You're good to go skin. Let's check that binding compatibility one more time. Pop that heel piece back into the boot. Check the four millimeter gap. Hasn't changed at all. You're good to go ski and skin. All right, guys, and that's how you adjust your ATK C Raider bindings. If you have any more questions, feel free to hit us up on live chat, shoot us an email, give us a call, or make an appointment to come see us in the Boston store.